Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another leak directed to Tro to help you with common issues you might be facing since you guys have been writing a lot about this. Since my last video there has been an update around this time of year, so it's a great opportunity to address some of the questions you guys have left in the comments. In this video I'll be tackling some of the most frequently asked questions from you guys and I'll walk you through how to fix those annoying problems. Let's get into this. But before we begin, it would be so cool if you guys could smash the like and subscribe button. It's free for you guys and it really helps me get my videos out to you guys. Question 1. What is the best version of Leak Director? Let's start with the big one. What's the best version of Leak Director? Believe it or not, the version I used the most, despite having fewer features, was 0.1.2. It had fewer issues overall and was really stable. So if you're having trouble with newer versions, you might want to give that one a try instead. My leak director won't start. Okay, let's talk about the issue where leak director just won't launch. You click on the icon, but nothing happens. If that's you, here's a step-by-step -step fix. First, uninstall the program. Go to this URL and find the leak director folder. It won't show up in search, so you need to navigate there manually and delete it. Next, head over to your download folders and delete the installer file. Finally, empty your trash and restart your system. If you don't follow all these steps, you might run into the same issue again next time you try to install Leak Director. This method is also helpful if any of your tabs disappear or malfunction. My Leak Director doesn't connect when I open my replay. Now, if your leak director isn't connecting when you try to open a replay, it might be because the replay APIs isn't enabled. Here's what you need to do. Go to this URL and open the game.cfg file. Press Ctrl and press F and search for Enable Replay API. Make sure the value is set to equal 1. If it's missing or set to something else, change it. Be sure there are no spaces around equal sign, just equal one. Save the file and then restart. If this doesn't fix it, you may need to follow the steps I mentioned earlier for a complete reset. My UI is missing! Next up, if your UI is gone, there could be three potential reasons for this. You may have accidentally deselected it in the leak director settings. Or you deselected it while inside a replay. It could also be a malfunction caused by keyframes. The first two are easy to fix. For leak director, go to visibility and make sure the UI box is checked. For replays, hit escape, go to interface and check which UI is enabled. For the third course, you'll need to repeat the step from the question to fix. This might be a recurring fix for some of you guys. My skybox isn't showing up. Now, if your skybox isn't appearing and you're seeing something like this, it usually means your game resolution is too low. To fix this, simply just open your replay, hit escape and head to video tab. Under graphics, make sure it's set to very high. This should get your skybox to show up properly. How do I delete sequences? Deleting sequences is pretty simple, but here's where to find them. Go to this URL. Inside the sequence folder, look for the sequence you want to delete. If you named your sequence, it will show up here with the same name. Just delete it and you're done. The recording tab doesn't work. Honestly, I never recommended using this built-in recording feature of Leak Director. It's buggy and if your sequence is too long or complex, it often only renders part of it. I always recommended using a third-party program like Streamlabs for a smoother experience. My sequence is stuck. This one is easy to fix if your sequence is stuck. It's usually because you forgot to uncheck a little box. This box automatically gets selected and if you don't deselect it, your sequence won't be able to edit anymore. Just make sure to uncheck it next time and you should be good to go. Alright, I think that covers most of the common questions I've been getting. If I missed any, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure to follow up with another video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful. It's free for you guys and it helps me a ton. See you next time. Let me know if this works better for you or if you'd like any changes.